Am I the butthole for refusing to move away from my uh, parents? And telling my wife she's welcome to go if she wants to. This is also from Moss. <laughs> <laughs> she got the spice. Yeah! We are drinking very spicy tea right now. Let's go. Yes. Hey Reddit! <laughs> Hi, 20, uh, 28 me. Need some perspective on si situation with my wife, 20, 28 female. My tongue just be like... Ugh. We've been married for 4 years and I thought we were on the same page about staying close to my family. Um, however, recently she brought up the idea of moving away and I expressed that I wasn't willing to do so. Uh, now she's upset with me and I'm wondering if I'm the asshole in this situation. Uh, let me give you some context. I come from a close-knit family and my parents are both 60 year old and I have siblings named John, uh, 30 male, Matthew, 26 male, I'm sorry if I say that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Isabel, 24 female, and uh, Dina, 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 mm -hmm. 22 female. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Most say that they were up, uh, up late hunting, so that's how they found it. Oh, got you. <laughs> <laughs> we all live within a few miles of each other, and we have a tradition of having family dinner every Sunday. I genuinely love spending time with my family, and it brings me a lot of joy. Before we got married, I made it clear to my wife, Trisha, that I would not negotiate on moving away from my family. She seemed fine with it at the time, and I believe she genuinely enjoyed being around them, as they all get along well. Recently, however, Trisha has started bringing up the idea of moving away. She expressed a desire to explore new places and not stay in the same city forever. While I understand her perspective, I feel strongly about staying close to my family support system and the people I love. Moving would mean significantly reducing the amount of time I get to spend with my family, as my work and time with Trisha already take up most of my schedule. I cherish the weekly family dinners and, uh, and the bond we share, and I don't want to give that up. When I told Trisha about my stance on not moving, things got heated between us. She expressed her dissatisfaction with staying so close to my family, calling it weird. I understand that, uh, I understand that she may not have the same kind of relationship with her own family, so it might be hard for her to understand. However, I firmly believe that my family is an integral part of my life, and I don't want to compromise on that. In the heat of the argument, I told Trisha that if she wanted to move, she was welcome to do so, but I would not be joining her. I didn't mean it as an ultimatum, one, but rather as an acknowledgement that we have different desires when it comes to our living situation. Since then, she has been angry with me, accusing me of pri prioritizing my family over her, and she hasn't spoken to me. So Reddit, am I the asshole for refusing to move away from my parents and telling my wife she's welcome to go if she wants to? I genuinely don't want to hurt her or make her feel unimportant, but I also don't want to give up the closeness I share with my family. I value your honest opinions. Hmm, dang. <sighs> it's pretty packed, huh? Yes. Okay, first things first. I realized that... Uh... Well, marriage and life happen. Sometimes people change their mind. I mean, this is not as severe as like those stories. Like, for instance, at first they really believe they don't, that they don't want to have kids, and it turns out they're just lying to keep it, to keep the marriage. You know, oh, like so. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah. You know that kind of story, right? Like, mm -hmm. So it's, this is, of course. I mean, I'm not accusing <laughs> Trisha for doing that, but yeah, yeah. People change. Sometimes they want something new. So right. Mm. It's just, I guess, the way OP told her, like, oh, if you wanna go, then go. And then say that, oh, it's not an ultimatum, it's just an acknowledgement, like... Uh... You know? <laughs> no, I do. Like, I, it, it's, it is kind of... I don't know, maybe that's foreign to me, I don't know. Maybe that's, like, I can't really wrap my head around that. But okay. then again... <laughs> I, you know, it, it's just, I, I guess, different values, you know, but yeah, go, go on. Go yeah, on. right. And the first thing first, yeah, I'll be transparent here. 
I'm not close to yeah like everyone knows I'm married okay so it's not that I'm super close to my family nor my in-laws to the level where you know I cannot live without them nearby you know what I mean right like yeah I moved away from my planet <laughs> and like you know I value like once I have a taste of like how it's like living outside of my home planet and overseas and stuff especially yeah I just I just I just value that too much you know mm-hmm. and True. like yeah I'm lucky that my partner is also in the same on the same page like he's the adventurous type and stuff huh it's just like mm, not stay in the same city forever It's a very one or zero kind of thing, you know? Like, there is no... Like, maybe try to move somewhere nearby and then, like, try to arrange visitation because it's not like you lose your family once you leave. Right. It's just like, I want this. If this doesn't happen, then maybe you can just do whatever shit you want. Kind of thing. (laughs) That energy is very strong. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. This is, this is a really weird one. Like, uh, it's a lot of the weird ones, actually. Moss. Yeah, and most mention <laughs> most mentioned that there is a car. Like, it's not hard to visit. Yeah, no, and and that's what I was gonna bring up. It's just like I don't understand what's so. Uh, I don't know. Then I wonder. I, I, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. All right, I wonder. Maybe it's like a family culture thing, like, oh, family uh, stick together because they have, like, a lot of siblings and stuff. So, like, maybe there is no information on how does the family actually think about it. Maybe the parents are actually chill about it, but, you know, uh, OP has this kind of weird attachment. I mean, it's unfair for me to call it weird, but yeah, this is unusual for me, so it's... (laughs) But at the same time, it's true that he already communicated first that he would not negotiate on moving away. And she chose, yes, I will go on with this. So, is she supposed to be surprised if he's gonna act this way now? (laughs) What do you think, Lomo? she shouldn't. Right? She really shouldn't. No, she... (laughs) Yeah, good. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Right. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I I can't. I'm sorry. Like this, it's so weird. Like so. Um. I, 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 are you are you finished? Sorry. I oh yeah. You. Wanna... Uh. Yeah. You should tell me what you think. Cause like. <laughs> yeah. So okay. All right. So you. In this situation, they've been married for four years. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. And so it, it's this shouldn't be like new there's there should be like warning signs already if the spouse valued their family mm-hmm. you know what i mean yeah it, it's not like oh oh you woke up today and now you, you love your family more than you love me like no i'm pretty sure for four years if they are that close with their family there would have been some warning signs um and she's upset because he chose to stay which is kind of mind-blowing for me because i couldn't wait until i could move out uh that's just me though Mm -hmm. and i know everyone's different but that's just me i didn't care i wanted to leave um there's so what i don't understand is what moss was saying and it's just i understand you want to be close to your family and that's nothing to be like ashamed of or there's a problem with but like there's there's cars there's airplanes Heck, you could even take a freaking train still if you really want to. Like, what? I don't understand why it's such a big deal. People move out all the time and they move to other states or other countries all the time. Like, I don't understand why it's that big of a deal. Yes, if you're really a tight knit community and you love your parents and your family so much that you don't want to leave. I don't know. Like, that's that's your decision. You know, that that's the one you decided to take mm-hmm. but then th- there's gonna be some warning signs you know, have you ever watched that movie um shoot what is it it has mark Wahlberg in it and uh will ferrell and they they basically meet each other's parents and it's like 
black and white, you know, uh, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Shoot. <laughs> I'm not sure. It, it doesn't matter. Okay. No, no, it doesn't matter. It, it's a movie. And basically, uh, Will Ferrell's dad is this super soft, fluffy dad. Mm -hmm. And they like are like really, really close and everything. Mm -hmm. And then Mark Wahlberg's dad is the quote unquote, like traditional butthole. You know what I mean? Like oh, he's yeah. traditional, like alpha male right All like right. what we we're talking about AA people. um yeah AA people exactly <laughs> but it's just like you see that and that's how i feel like you see such extremes and it's just like what is going on what do you mm -hmm. mean you like you want to stick with your family like this right mm -hmm. but you see it you, there's signs like i said you see like this person is definitely a, a like a like a mama's boy or something like that you know what uh... i mean like you, you, you have that those warning signs it's just baffles me that she expected things to change after being married for four years True. it's just it's kind of weird yeah um at the same time dude the guy is wrong too though like if you're married for four years and you're willing to just drop your relationship just because you don't want to move away from your parents yeah something's weird yeah i don't i don't know i i feel like this is a cult <laughs> oh. a cult or like some kind of uh, uh, probably a cult. Moss, did you send us like cult <laughs> freaking <laughs> AIPAs? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> this is probably not even his real parents. They're probably like some like freaking cult, cult leader. leaders. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. She expressed her dis dissatisfaction with staying close to the family, calling it weird. I agree. I think it is weird that they're that close, but some families are like that. I get it. Yeah. Uh, however, I understand that she may not have the same kind of relationship with her own family. See? Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely agree on that. Um, I also think that it's kind of weird that he just automatically was like pissed off. And he was like, yeah, you know what? If you don't like it, you can leave. <laughs> There's just like you said, because uh, four years of being together, and it's like, okay, you can leave. Bye. Yeah. yeah and no, like, people hate long distance relationship and this guy willingly go through it to you know yeah. yeah he's planning to go through it just for he's his family kidding. he's a uh, he's a freaking alien <laughs> he's just <laughs> conducting an experiment right now that's all it is it, it, he's not a real person most say that <laughs> if it were a cult you'd know because uh most loves cult stories oh she does <laughs> <laughs> or mm. hey i'm sorry There is, yeah, there is one point that, like, yeah, he or she already agreed to the terms and conditions on marrying him, so she has no choice now, but at the same time, how can someone be this inflexible for someone they love? True. I mean, I can True. be stubborn too, but at the same time, it's like, this is not, like, <sighs> until he can communicate. Like, if she doesn't understand, then he can actually, like, Here's the thing, I'm not close to my family, but I have friends who are close to their family. And just by looking at their interaction, for instance, I understand why my friend, let's say, refuses to move overseas to work or something like that. Like currently, she's not ready, she mentioned. Mm. Yeah, but then like the fact that, I mean, it's just my projection, okay? But it's like the fact that OP said he's so close to his family, etc. and like, Trisha seems to not understand about it. That means maybe what she saw from them is not really. Do you, do you get where I'm getting at? Like. Yeah, like it, it was like a fake relationship, basically. Maybe that or something like. Uh, it's like it's not. Na maybe it's not naturally close or something. Like, the fact that she's seen through this and she will still feel like she cannot understand, you know... Mm, maybe I'm reading too much into this. <laughs> no, like, I, I guess I can see what you're trying to say. Like, it, it's just so unnatural that it could be fake, basically, maybe? Or, I, I don't know. Yeah, maybe like... Maybe I'm, I'm also thinking about it weird, but... Or maybe, like, you know, the, the way she defines closeness and the way he defines closeness is different. Like, some... I mean, some friends of mine uh, voluntarily hang out with their parents without, you know, without 
weekly dinners. Weekly dinner sounds so scheduled, you know. It's as if like maybe the parents condition it to be like that, like you know, after you're married, you're still you still need to like attend weekly dinners or stuff like that. And then like maybe OP sees that as like, oh, my family is close because we have some kind of tradition. Like we don't know if OP, I mean OP, OP really likes doing it, but I don't know about the other siblings yet. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. Tradition doesn't mean, doesn't always mean closeness, right? Well, I mean, no, no, it doesn't because, you know, you got people that are, you know, following traditions that are, you know, either outdated or they don't agree with and they still do it, you know, like, no, I don't, I don't think so at all. Like, why would a tradition mean that it's obvious, like automatically something that's for, you know, being a family That, that doesn't make any sense. Um, no i uh i I do find it really weird um so even if they do get to get together like do family dinners or or group gatherings or whatever it is um you could still drive there yeah you could still move away i don't understand my my head's gonna explode because it's like dude like (laughs) why is that such a big deal like and even if it is a big deal you don't want to miss anything right Mm -hmm. like yeah transportation is so easy you could literally freaking just google oh yeah what should i do for this you know and (sighs) yeah the inflexibility is kind of heartbreaking for the wife yeah true poor wife Uh. so the Uh. verdict is uh maybe for me right not the battle for refusing to move away, but the way you communicate it is a bit... No, it's not a bit, it's a massive battle. <laughs> She's welcome yeah. to go if she wants to. Or is, 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 that, is your marriage that small? See, and that's what I was going to say. I feel like he is the butthole. I'm going to say it. Uh, this is how I feel. I think he is the butthole. Because it's, it's a context of everything that's been said so far is saying that they have a relationship and they've had a strong enough relationship where they were together for four years and he's willing to just throw everything away yes like completely everything away no he that's that's an asshole move like it straight up is because it's like that up obviously and and what's like uh the double standard right he's like oh yeah i genuinely don't want to hurt her or make her feel unimportant well, dude, you already kind of did that. You already <laughs> kind of did that when yeah. you said you can leave. And I'm willing to, like, drop our relationship just because I don't want to move away from mama and dada. You know, like, yeah. like what, what do you mean? You already did that. So it's like, what do you mean? You, like, I don't understand why this is so weird. Uh, it's just, like, boggling my mind right now. But it's, he's definitely the butthole. It, yeah. it, like apparently that that relationship was like paper thin to begin with mm-hmm. so no this guy's a dick <laughs> right oh, 